Hey everybody, um, I'm here to give you a little tutorial on one of the many wonderful, wonderful Google programs. Um, and the one I'm going to talk about today is Gmail. Okay, now I have to be honest, I wasn't totally on board with getting into Gmail um, because I was so used to Outlook and how Outlook worked. Um, but I really have switched and I'm, I really am on board with Gmail now. So I want to give you some of the very basic features. I'm not going to give you a whole lot. Um, to overwhelm you. I'm just going to give you some very basic things. Okay, so first off, the website is just gmail.com. When you get there, it's probably it's going to have your Google um, accounts stored here for you, one, or if you have multiple like I do. Um, and all you're going to do is log in. Okay, and when you log in, <clears throat> You will see that I don't have many emails because I like to keep them really organized, okay? I have such a beautiful background picture here. I love to look at it. I don't love to see a bunch of emails. It's not fun, okay? So there are a couple different parts to Gmail, and I'm really only going to take you through the mail part in this video, okay? But just... Um, to show you, you have mail, contacts, and tasks. I'm gonna do a different video on contacts when I show you how to make groups, and um, a different video on tasks where I'll show you how to uh, what tasks are and how those connect with your calendar, because I'm gonna talk about calendar in a different video. So look for those if you're interested in how to use these. This is just basic mail features though, okay? So I'm in my inbox here. All right, you can see I don't like to have a lot of stuff in my inbox. I really don't like to keep stuff in my inbox. I feel like if it's in my inbox, that means that I have to do something with it. So if I've already done something with it, I've already looked at it, I don't need it there anymore, what's the point in staring at it every day? It looks confusing and messy to me. If you like seeing everything in your inbox, that's perfectly fine. But I want to talk to you about labels because labels are phenomenal. Labels are for people who like liked folders in Outlook, but they're also for people who like all of their stuff in their inbox, but like to search for things more easily. Don't wanna to have to type in 8 million keywords to find the email they're looking for. So you can use labels in two ways. So I'm gonna show you both ways to use labels. Um, I use it in a folder capacity. Some people, again, might not like that. So I only have three emails here. Um, the school year hasn't started yet, so. This is very empty, but I'm gonna show you a couple of things. So first of all, I have a message here, and you can see that it's labeled right here with a little word that says Google, okay? That's telling me that I have labeled this Google, okay? So the labels are listed all over here. You can see I have a whole lot of them. Um, I don't, really see the need to just use the ones that they've given me like sent mail and drafts um, I think there's one that's trash and stuff like that I need I need all these labels I don't I'm a little bit crazy maybe but I need all of these labels so you can see I have a label called Google so I labeled this for my Google certification as Google um, and I wanted to hold it in my email or in my inbox because I wanted to print some things out and save some things from it before I moved it and then forgot. So I labeled it Google as soon as I got it. I opened it, I looked at it, I labeled it Google from the app on my phone. And then when I got home, I printed out the things I needed and all of that or saved whatever I needed. And now I don't need it in my inbox anymore. I wanna move it because I wanna keep it, but I wanna move it out of my inbox. So it's already labeled Google. So there's actually two buttons up here that I'm gonna talk about. Okay, the first one right here is labels. And this is what I've already done. So you'll see when I open it, there's a little checkbox next to Google. If I uncheck that and I hit apply, it takes away that label. Okay, so if I go back in and I'm like, never mind, I'm not gonna label it Google anymore. I'm gonna name it NJHS. I don't know why I would do that, but Let's pretend. Now it's labeled NJHS. So if I want to search for NJHS emails and I type in NJHS, this one's going to pop up. Okay. Now I do want it labeled Google, but I want to actually move it to the label called Google in similar to a way you would have moved an email in Outlook to a folder. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is look at the button to the left of that little label, okay? And this, when you hover over it, it says move to. It actually looks like a folder. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to scroll down and it's alphabetical, so I don't know why I can't find it. <laughs> I'm going to hit Google. And you're going to see it's gone from my inbox. Yay! It's now moved to the Google label. Super excited. Okay, now you can also put subfolders or sub labels, however you want to say it, within your already existing label. So right here I have one from my learning plan. I don't usually keep these, but we're going to keep this one just for um, the sake of showing you how to do this. So I'm going to go again to move to and I'm going to scroll through here and go, I don't really like any of these labels this none of these are really working for me it's kind of professional development but not really so i'm going to create a new label and i'm going to call it my learning plan because this email is from my learning plan and i'm going to put it inside the professional development folder or label that i've already made so this is going to go inside the professional development folder kind of like a subfolder Okay, and hit create. And then when you look over here, if you look at my professional development label or folder, you see there's one also called my learning plan. Okay, so now I have another email here. I haven't opened it yet. I see it's obviously an email from myself and I've told myself that Harry Potter is awesome, which we all know is true. Okay, let's say that I, I wanted to save this. Okay, so again, what you do is you go up to folder, move to, you're going to find where you want to put it. I actually don't have a label called Harry Potter. I think that might be a sin. I'm going to create a new here. I'm going to call it Harry Potter. Okay, and then I'm going to create it. And then I have no mail in my inbox. And I can see this beautiful picture of the Great Hall here. How beautiful is that? Okay, this just happens to be during Goblet of Fire. You can see the Batten's ladies here and the drumstick sirs here. Okay, so anyway. Hopefully that gave you a little um, insight on how to make the folders. The only other thing I want to show you in Gmail right now is um, how to just write an email. Okay, so um, when you want to write a new email, you hit this little button right over here called Compose. Okay, and that pops up a new message. And the message window is actually right inside right here. Okay. Um, so let's say I wanted to send an send an email. I'm gonna I'm gonna send an email. I'll send it to Mr. Snyder. Okay, and my subject is yo yo yo. Okay, and then I would just type my message. What's up? Okay, and then I would hit send. I'm not actually gonna send this, but then I would hit send, and this message would then be saved in my send file. All right, um, you have all your basic things down here. So that's Bitmoji, I'm not gonna talk about that right now. You can format, so you can use different fonts if you want. Um, you can attach documents. So if I wanted to attach a file, let's say from my Google Drive or from wherever, um, if you wanna go right to your Google Drive, you just hit the Google Drive button and you can automatically upload all kinds of things here. Um, pictures, links, emojis. So if I was like, you know what, Mr. Snyder needs an emoji. I could be like, hey, what's up? And there we go. Okay. Um, and then if you want to send it, you can send it. If you're like, wow, I'm a nut job. I shouldn't send this. You can throw it in the trash and then it's gone. Um, so those are the very, very basics of Gmail. I, again, I'm going to have another video on some other things within Gmail, but that's just the basics of getting your emails, organizing them, writing new ones.